Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David and I hate myself. At least it would appear that way, because today I have agreed to test some of the most god-lacking, bizarre TikToks I have seen to this date, which are the Shaba Kitchen's Tuna Velveeta Goldfish Casserole, as well as my Jane Brain's gigantic cheeseburger and chicken roll-up. It is a bad day for one to not have health insurance, my friend, so if this is my final video, I bid you farewell. But let's just get right into this one. Regardless of my bodily outcome after this one, whether I find myself in a food coma or on my deathbed, at the very least, I'll be super comfortable because I'll be on a mattress from my buddies over at Helix Sleep. Helix makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and are shipped directly to your door. Everybody's different and Helix knows that, so they developed a sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. As some of you probably know, almost two years ago now, I myself took the sleep quiz and because of my body type and sleep style, they hooked me up with this baby and I have not looked back since. You can literally go back to videos two years ago and see how much more tired and darker the circles under my eyes were. I am just sleeping so well these days. And if you sleep with a partner, you can can take the quiz together to find something that is the perfect compromise for the both of you. And maybe my favorite part of Helix is that anywhere in the US you can get your mattress delivered to your door for free. It comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up for yourself, it's super satisfying to pop that thing open, and if it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried yet, Helix offers a 100 night sleep trial so you can make sure you love it. And if you don't love it, after those 3 months, Helix will pick it up for you and you can get a full refund. Plus, Helix offers a 10-year warranty, financing options, and flexible payment plans, so a great night's sleep is never that far away. So if you are curious as to what else Helix has to offer, click the link in the top line of the description to go to helixsleep.com slash David Seymour. You can get up to $200 off of your mattress plus two free pillows. And of course, thank you so much to Helix for sponsoring today's video. But first up today in our journey into stupidity, we've got this insane looking tuna goldfish Valveda casserole. And if you are looking to get back at your family for something and want to bring this to a family function, you're going to have to grab some chunks of Colby Jack cheese and dried parsley, a white onion, and some plain and rainbow goldfish, exactly three cans of cream of mushroom soup, dried oregano, a block of Valveda, salt and pepper, some extra wide egg noodles, frozen peas and carrots, and then two cans of chunk light tuna. Now before anyone tries to run down to the comments and tell me that this has potential, you know, my family has a slight variation of this casserole. Especially because most of us probably don't hate any one of the ingredients that I just listed. I'd even argue that the cream of mushroom soup has a time and a place. While all that might be true, save it because I don't want to hear it. The more of these stupid TikTok recipes that you watch, you learn to just see right through the things that they do. Stuff that they know will catch people's eye and make their videos go viral. A few of them being, number one, the sheer amount of cheese going in this freaking thing. By my estimations, there's gonna be about a 3 to 1 ratio of cheese to pasta in this. The way she cooks the pasta first and then layers everything into this pan, the pasta's getting cooked three different times. So I basically just blanched the stuff in the hot water in hopes that it won't be overcooked at the end. If this was a genuine recipe, she would have just melted off your cheeses, mixed it all together in a bowl, and then put it down in the pan to bake. And if you still don't believe me, the comment she makes at the very end just kind of nails this all home. And if you have picky eaters at home, this is a good way to trick them into eating their peas and carrots. Like, yes lady, if your kid has a giant bowl of this, they might end up eating about a teaspoon of vegetables while also eating about 15 servings of Alveda cheese. But anyways, like I said, this gets baked once, mixed all together. Take a quick moment to get all your inner demons and aggression out on the goldfish that have to be chopped up and layered across the top of this. And clearly, we didn't have enough cheese in this, so we're gonna shred up another half a block and really max out those chances of sending your worst enemies to the ER. Perfectly line up your little rainbow goldfish and then bake it just for a couple more minutes to get the top nice and toasty. Am I still gonna take a bite of this and try to judge it fairly? Yes. But does this also look like straight up vomit slop that a lunch lady would give to a kid in a Food Network show? Yes. Yes, it does. Unholy is the word that comes to mind. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> 
Unsurprisingly, contrary to what our good sis in the video might want you to believe, this is not pleasant. The very first hit you get is just straight tuna. 70% of every single bite is just cheese. And obviously with the addition of the cream of mushroom, it's just such an overwhelmingly fatty, too rich. I only cooked the pasta for like three minutes and it's still just a mushy, overcooked mess. Obviously that's because you cook it three times, it's surrounded by moisture and cheese, so it's just gonna keep absorbing all that. I could think of a million ways that you can make this more edible, mostly cutting down the amount of cheese, getting rid of the tuna, bouncing out the richness with some herbs or heat or acidity from somewhere, but of course, if you did everything I just said, you wouldn't have a viral, insane TikTok video that got a million views, so. As they have always said, shock value sells, and this is no exception. Next up in today's TikTok Sin Roundup, we've got this very creative cheeseburger and chicken roll-up that, believe it or not, I actually have a shred of hope for. And if you wanna make it for yourself, grab some puff pastry and ketchup, garlic powder, onion powder, Frank's hot sauce and ranch, some chicken breasts and ground beef, of course, bacon, mustard, mayo, some pickle chips and crushed red pepper flakes, garlic salt, chili powder, American cheese, a red onion, and salt and pepper. I feel like I should come clean immediately, so a few of you have sent me this recipe to remake over the past couple of weeks, but the main reason I'm remaking it is because the absolute legend Chef Reactions on TikTok recently reacted to this. I don't even know the guy's real name, but I am obsessed with his videos. If you have not watched them, I beg that you do. I will leave his reaction in the description. His extremely dry, sarcastic humor is right up my alley and honestly what TikToks like this need. I feel like it helps maintain the overall sanity of people on websites like TikTok. Oh, I guarantee I will not believe it. 0.5 out of 10. Mm -hmm. No, you hate it, don't lie. Uh, I would still try both of them because I'm a piece of shit. But anyways, as great as his reaction was to this, and honestly how much shit I've been talking about it, I do have maybe 1% of hope for this. This kind of reminds me of the real old school tasty videos where the ingredients or outcome aren't too crazy, but it's the scale of it all and maybe the preparation that kind of catches people's eye. Obviously, when somebody sees an eight pound log of dough and meat and cheese, you're gonna think, this is just insane. This can't be a real thing, but I'm gonna try my hardest with this one. I rolled out the puff pastry and one by one laid on my ingredients. I spread my little beef shreds as if they were a weird sushi rice. Got everything else piled up on top of there, did my best to evenly roll it up. And then once you get it rolled and chopped up, you can turn around and let your $1,000 camera smash to the ground. Frankly, I'm surprised this hasn't happened more. This is only the second time in my whole YouTube career, but it fell off the little table that I use there and the LCD screen is just cooked. And to be right up front, honest with you peeps, I have been in the damn trenches the past couple of weeks. That's why I miss some videos once in a while. And this was really just the cherry on top of it all, so I threw it to the side. Maybe I'll get it fixed one day. But once I did finally gather myself a little bit, the very last thing you gotta do is whip up a really quick burger sauce. Finish your hamburger cinnamon roll with some mustard, that sauce, and a pickle. And then finish the other chicken bacon with its ranch counterpart. By some grace of a higher power, maybe these will end up tasting pretty good, so let's give them a shot. But like, hear me out though. I remember everything I said from the beginning of this video, I remember all the connotations. So, if this was made as a joke, which by the tone of the video it might have been, it is lost on me because this is damn tasty. It's cooked all the way through, it's seasoned well, uh, the burger sauce is actually very good. How about a little bit of the chicken bacon ranch now? Mmm. If you go watch that Chef Reactions video and most of her comments, you would think these would be a big old joke. But there's nothing to not like here. They're literally just savory cinnamon rolls. I mean, the preparation is interesting. Obviously she makes a whole lot of them. Did I give them a better chance of being good by shredding my own chicken, making sure everything was seasoned well? Yes. But even if not the case, they wouldn't be horrible, they wouldn't be disgusting. These are great. Very much old school Buzzfeed vibes. You can't be mad at that at all. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. With the M, M without 
the AD Put the burgers in my money, super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my A-team Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision